Hello, this is Daniel. Welcome everyone. Today we're gonna learn how to create and print labels for a list in Excel. This process is very useful if you're printing uh, mailing labels for a different address or if you're printing labels for your products in your warehouse. It's very useful if you have a thousand products of a thousand items that you need to print. So to create and print the labels, you must first prepare the worksheet data in Excel as you're seeing right now. And then we're gonna use Word to configure, organize, review, and print the labels. Here, we do have the different data. We have a sample list of products. We have a SKU number, name of the products, and category. I won't use this for now for my levels because I I believe this is not important for my warehouse. So the first step will be check the model of the label that you just purchased. In this case, I purchased the Avery model 18160. So after we save this label, I have saved this file on my desktop. I will open Microsoft Word and I will create a blank document. After it's created the blank document, I will click here on the menu where it says mailings. It's gonna show up these different options and I will click where it says start mail marriage. I will select the option labels. Now I have to look for my model. In this case, we have different manufacturers from this list like Microsoft, 3M, etc. The one that I need, it will be Avery in the format is US letter. I will sh look for the model that I have, which is 18, 18160. So it will be 18. 18160 address labels. I can double check here the dimension to see if it match with the product that I purchased. So I will click OK. The way to include all the information from my Excel list, it will be in this way. So I click here where it says select recipient and I will choose the option that say use an existing list. Now I have to browse for my file. In my case, it's in desktop. I will click and click open. This message is showing right here because I have the same file open it with Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word is trying to open the same file. So for now, I can click on open a read only copy and I will click OK. Now the system of Microsoft is reading that here it will put the first data and then it's adding a command that this is the next record, the next record, and the next record. In that way, it's not repeated the same data. So what I have to do right now is tell the system which data I want from this file. I can choose the SQ, the name of the category. So I will click here where it say insert merge fill and I will put the SKU number first. I will put a comma, space, and then I will add the name. I will put a comma and then I will add the category. Now it is just on the first field. I have to tell the system that I want this in all the fields in my page. So I will have to click on update labels. Now you have updated all the labels and the last step it will be finish and merge. It will show this little drop down menu and I will have to choose edit individual documents. Here I have different options. If I want the current record, whatever record I'm working right now, if I want all the records, in this case, it will do all these numbers, 
or if I want any certain records. For example, if I want from 3 to 17, or if I want from 1 to 17, that will mean that it's all. So I will choose on all for now. As I can see, Microsoft Word has extracted all the data from my list and I don't have to type one by one. Now I just can print from my regular printer and you will have all the sticker labels so you can apply to your beans in the warehouse. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.